Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jason and you're watching my channel Micro Investor. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the popular 3D printing penny stock, nano dimensions, ticker symbol NNDM. Now, if you're not familiar with nano dimensions, they are headquartered in Israel and the company makes a 3D printer that specializes in making circuit boards with all the conductive materials being able to be printed on that circuit board as well. Now, this stock has become very popular amongst YouTubers because it is a penny stock and one of the reasons is that a lot of financial institutions have been picking up shares of it, including ARK Invest, which a lot of people do like buying things that Kathy Woods is interested in. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about some recent things that have gone on with Nano Dimensions, including their third quarter financials that recently came out, as well as why is this stock crashing? Because it's down 25% on November 20th. So that's a pretty big deal that we need to be discussing in this video as well as where do I see this stock going from here? So anyways, as we get into this, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor and please be sure to smash, destroy, and annihilate that like button because it does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps spread this video to more people that might find it interesting. And also, as always, subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get into this. So this is Nano Dimension stock on November 20th, and as you can see, the stock opened down. So not a whole lot happened that day at all. So if we take a look back over the week, as we can see, here is the drop here from November 19th to November 20th. Now, to put in perspective here, Nano Dimension stock was on a pretty big upswing here up until this point when the stock did go down quite a bit. So if we look at the price of Nano Dimensions on November 17th, very similar to the price that they are here on November 20th. So um, not a whole lot really going on, not a whole big loss if you actually look at it like that. The stock was just really trending up pretty fast in general. So let's take a quick look at their third quarter of financials that ended on September 30th. And this is all in the thousands. So they have a cash and cash equivalents of $21 million and their total assets are $63.3 million and their total liabilities are $10.6 million. So they do have more assets than liabilities. Now let's look at their income statement. So for the third quarter of 2020, the revenues were $438,000 versus the same quarter last year in 2019, where it was $2.24 million, which was more than they have actually even made for all of 2020 so far. Now let's look at how much money they have going into research and development, which is a lot of money. So for the third quarter of 2020, it's about $2.6 million. And for the whole year in 2020, a little bit over $6.1 million. Now, if you look at their sales and marketing expenses, they have a lot of money going into that as well with about $2.5 million for the third quarter and $4.2 million for the whole year so far. Now, just look at uh, how much money they have going into general and administrative expenses, which is an insane amount of money here compared to everything else, where in the third quarter, $14.8 million went into it. And for the whole year so far in 2020, 167 million million dollars has gone to that. So if we look at where they were in 2019 at the third quarter, only $799,000 went into that. So a lot of money right now going into general and administrative expenses and the word general is right here. So that could really be anything. So the total comprehensive loss for the third quarter of 2020 was $20.7 million. And for the whole year so far, $31 million. Now, the CFO for Nano Dimension says these are not really bad results per se, and that they already expected revenues to be low in 2020 due to the pandemic, and that they actually achieved much better revenues than they had expected, and that the fourth quarter is already starting to see a modest recovery. And their CEO says their expectations of their market growth has not changed, and expect things to slingshot once the pandemic is phased out. And that they're not judging themselves by the success of their quarterly revenues, that they have sold 60 machines already, and mostly to leading blue chip, defense, academic, and commercial organizations worldwide. And that they're expecting to have exceptional growth post-pandemic. So that covers their revenue that was recently announced, but why is their stock crashing on November 20th? And this is because of the announcement that Nano Dimensions made on November 19th after the market closed that Nano Dimensions prices $100 million registered direct offering for the sale of 25 million of the company's American depository shares at a price of $4 per share. The gross proceeds of the offering will be approximately 
$100 million. The company intends to use the net proceeds for working capital and for other general corporate purposes and pursue strategic opportunities, including possible business combination transactions. This is all going to take place on or about November 23rd, 2020. And Nano Dimensions has done this many times in the past. They did this in October with the $50 million offering. And they did this also in September with a $16.9 million offering. And going through 2020, they did this many more times at smaller amounts. So what we can tell is as this year has progressed, the amounts have gotten larger. Now, in a situation like this company is in with the pandemic that is affecting their business, they have basically two options. They can either decide to take on more debt, which is going to cost them much more revenue in the stage that they're still trying to build their business. So no one really wants that at all. No one wants more debt. Debt's bad. Or they can offer more shares, which is usually the easier thing to do. So what they're doing is they're deleting shareholders, but at the same time, this is keeping them from having to take on more debt. Now, Offering more shares is a tactic that Nano Dimensions has used a lot, and there has been quite a bit of share dilution. Let's just take a look back at Nano Dimension stock from around the IPO. If you would have invested $1,000 into Nano Dimensions five years ago, it would be worth $50 today. Now, seeing Nano Dimension stock go down so much over these last five years does not really mean that this is any sort of bad stock to invest into. What it means is that, you know, it sucks for the people that invest into it early, but this was a company that at that time didn't have a product available to sell, nothing was fine-tuned. They're still, even now, in the stages of still being a startup and still trying to get their product out to their targeted customer. So they've only sold, you know, over a hundred of their products, so not a whole lot over these years that they've even done. But now they're saying that they're in this process of being able, being able to get their product out to a lot more customers. So that's what they're seeing and that's why they're attracting the attention of financial financial institutions like ARK Invest. So when you think about all the money that they're spending on research and development and marketing, maybe they are at that stage now. Maybe that after this pandemic, maybe their product is ready to start selling to many more customers. And if that's the case, and this is something that you believe in, it's quite possible that this little penny stock could be something that could be able to, you know, 10X in value, if not more, over the years, but that's something that's wait and see. And obviously there is a whole lot of risk in investing in the stock. Now I do think that there are much better 3D printing stocks to talk about. Uh, I can name a few in another video coming shortly, but for now, I think that there is still a lot of potential into nano dimensions. It's just, they have just been for many years, been in the process of being able to try to get their product out to their customer. So anyways, everybody, I like to hear your thoughts on nano dimensions. So as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video coming very soon.